All right, guys, so today I'm gonna be commentating over this 30 bomb that I got, and I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips and tricks that you can use, whether you're trying to get 30s or just hide kill games in general. So I have three basic tips that I like to follow that, well, are most important. So the first one is your three POIs or points of interest for your game. This game, um, the bus path was going like through Pleasant, Loot Lake, and Tilted. Those were the three POIs because they are the most populated areas and they were going along the bus trail. So those areas should have the most people that landed at them. So I dropped Pleasant because it was a hot drop and this is solo squad. So most of the squads would go Pleasant because it gets pretty crazy and Pleasant when you're playing squad. So I dropped Pleasant to see, like to clear as many people out as I can and leave with a decent amount of kills. And that's where the three POIs comes into place. Because at the beginning of the game, when you look at your bus path, and I see, okay, well, I have Pleasant, and then Loot Lake is really close to the bus path, and it's fairly close to Pleasant as well. And then from there, it's a tilted rotation. So, I drop Pleasant, I'm picking up as many kills as I can, and sometimes, um, when you're trying to drop high kills, you can't really like like you see how i how i skipped that chest you can't really stop to open up chests or loot and like as soon as i get like a nice decent weapon like maybe a pump or an smg or like e maybe even an ar in some cases i just go straight off to just killing as many people as i can because while i'm looting or taking time looting everyone else is fighting getting kills and these are kills that i could be getting putting it towards my high kill game so as soon as i get a nice decent loadout you know pump smg maybe some shields or something i'll loot the first house see what i can get and then after that i just push on to wherever the shots are popping off or whoever comes to me, I get them, and then I transport to my second area. Here, it's Loot Lake. So, lucky I got that rift in the last instance. I hit the rift, and now I flew over to Loot Lake. It was this team of two here. And so, I tried to clear them out as quickly as possible so I can get on to the next team. That's another tip you need to be very like aware of is timing. Because if you're taking like extremely long to kill people or to wipe squads, then all that time is just burning up all of the players in the match. Because while you're taking this time to fight this one squad, all of the other squads are still roaming around the map, getting into different engagements, and that's just dropping the player count. So that's why when you encounter a squad or you encounter people to fight i always try to wipe them as quickly as possible so i can get on to the next team and wipe them so timing is also a key point that you need to focus on another thing that i see with with a lot of people when they go for high kill games is they'll get like like they'll be like super good in terms of like where you want to be at when you're getting a high kill game like now i have like eight kills and there's like half of the map is still alive so that's like pretty good placement if you want to get a high kill game so i've seen like even it's, it's happened to me sometimes as well not just other people like it's happened to me sometimes i get like in a really good position where i have like a pretty decent amount of kills like mid game and there's still a lot of people alive. and that is when i start like that is when you kind of have to like calm down like don't really like overthink it too much because some people just they'll overthink it and they'll be fighting the squad and they're thinking so much about it about how they're in good placement and they don't want to mess it up that they end up choking and they throw their high code game in that situation you just want to calm down relax like 
you have multiple chances to get high kill games this just happens to be a really good effort that you put in so and it's just, when situations like that happen, like, my best thing for you is to just like take a breath and just relax like just give yourself some time to breathe but still you still got to be alert you still gotta get around the map as fast as possible which brings me into the next tip which is transportation now things like those little geysers that you can fly off of glider redeploy all of that launch pads you need to use those as much as possible so you can get from team to team you need to be floating around the map just killing as many people as you can as fast as you can do it because that right there transportation you're much rather to get a high kill game running around the map with the hoverboard or um, a hamster ball or a quad crasher than you are with just running around the map regularly because this game i got perfectly 30 kills that means everything that i did leading up to that 30 kills was just enough to get me to that 30 kill because I've been trying to get 30 for a couple of days now and I've dropped multiple to 20 and this is my first 30 that was a really risky play that I did but it worked thank the lord so I went here I by this time I have 18 kills or 17 left I only need 12 more kills to get 30 so that means that i have five people as leeway so that means that five people can die and i'll still be able to like have my 30 kill opportunity so that's like a really good a really good spot like i'm trying to some teams they seem really in, in, in intimidating too like this guy's over here building i'm like all right these are gonna be some good fights it's clear who i can first so i took th this guy out as soon as i knocked him his teammate on my left and started pushing the mini first and finished him to get the shields. i thought that was my platform was his, but i still pumped him in the face finished him to get my shield back and then ramped up to this team up here i'm pretty sure this was like two teams pretty sure this was two teams up here two separate teams and imagine if i like something went wrong and none of these kids killed each other i would i, I would have been out of my 30 excuse that shotgun shot that i had just completely missed but yeah timing transportation your three pois you got to know where you're gonna go to because you, you don't really want to be like imitating or just like winging it mid-game you got to have everything planned out and know what you're gonna do um another thing is practice like if you want to get better and you want to drop high kill games you want to like you have to be determined to get better i have like warm-up courses that i use that i made in my own creative world i get 1v1 players who are better than me to practice my aim my building to practice not choking and just being in, in situations where i feel like i'm in trouble but at the same time I feel that I put enough effort into what I'm trying to do and practice it enough that I won't really like freeze up on it. So practice is like a really a really good thing to learn as well. Because these pup players, they're not the best, but when you're facing four of them at once, like it gets it gets kind of tricky when you have four people shooting at you at once. But you just gotta put that little finesse on it that's why practice comes into play because if you're out here like breathing super fast you're missing all your shots you're like, like you're not gonna be able to make it far if you're like potatoing out here you gotta learn you gotta practice and get better you gotta want to succeed and you gotta for the most part play with players who are better than you that will boost your game. It will get you better, get your building better, get your aiming better. So those are really key things that you need to learn if you wanna 
get you know, high kill games. Another thing is compete in any competitive play you can, because that competitive play will get you like good for end game and get you used to having a lot of people on you. So that's most of the tips, or that's all of the tips that I'm gonna let you guys have in this video. 30 kills. Um, this is my first 30 kill solo squad win. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a pretty obvious tip, but if you're going for high kill games, then you're gonna want a solo squad. And if you're not good at solo squads, then I suggest you warm up. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe.